Hi and good morning. Uh, today I thought I'd take you on a little tour around the pharmacy or the Apotec as it is known here. This is my local pharmacy. Uh, it's kind of a small one, you can see it's Gulwan Plakken Apotec. Um, it's kind of a smallish one but it gives you a good idea about what they sell and what you can get hold of in the pharmacy. So um, let's go in. So let's take a little walk around. First of all as you come in you can see they sell toothbrushes and toothpaste and things for oral hygiene. Then you have kind of feminine hygiene products here. And then moving on, you've got uh, eye drops, vitamins, a lot more vitamins, big selection of vitamins. The Danes are quite big fans of vitamin supplements. And then as you carry on, more vitamin supplements. And here uh, we've got things for um, colds, and um, sort of nasal sprays, cough medicine, all this stuff you can just pick up off of the shelf. Lactocare, so those of you looking for probiotics, that's where you would find them in the pharmacy there. And this pharmacy is one that is particularly aimed um, at parents, so you have a relatively good selection of uh, breast pumps and dummies and baby things here. But it's important to know that in the pharmacy uh, you won't actually find nappies. Then we move on to uh, toiletries. You'll find a lot of sun creams. Um, the Apotec have their own brand of different kinds of toiletries that you can get hold of. Um, lots and lots of French brands which is really nice, nice quality um, sort of face creams and shampoos and particularly for people with sensitive skin that's perfect. Um, so yeah you've got a big selection of that. Here for children who might be getting uh, head lice, which goes around fairly frequently in schools here, you've got lice combs and you've got the different shampoos and you've got bite creams. It's pretty much what you would expect to find in an average pharmacy. It's quite busy in here, so I'm, I'm trying to do this without actually catching anybody in it. Now, when you arrive at the pharmacy, some places will, well, everywhere has a post like this where you take a number. Some places um, they will say that there's one for um, if you have a prescription or if you just want to get across the counter medicines or things from in the main part of the store. Um, some of them you can scan your CPR on the card to speed up the process. So just take a number in here, everybody takes a number and you just wait your turn. Okay, I checked with the pharmacist and they're happy for me to film what's behind the counter and they even made it look super pretty for us. So, starting at one end, this is what you have to ask for um, across the counter um, medication. Now you have stuff for animals, uh, stuff for um, giving up smoking, so Nicorette, that kind of thing. Then we have a whole section for allergies, so hay fever, um, skin allergies, anything like that. Then for Corsa is cold. So you've got Strepsils there, you've got Benelin, uh, you've got just a variety of different medications. But it's very popular here to uh, use a nasal spray if you have a cold. And at first I was a bit like, nasal sprays, but actually they're really, really good. And then going along, we've now got stomach things. So you have things if you are constipated or you have diarrhea or you just have problems with your uh, bowel movements in general. You can also get, uh, if you go to hospital, uh, they might ask you to come into the pharmacy to get something um, to, to give you a clear out or something like that if you're going to hospital. Then the next one is Smert, um, which is like paracetamol. Um, they have some codeine-based medication that you can get across the counter, but mainly it's ibuprofen and paracetamol and the pharmacy stuff walking around there. And then at the very end, then you have um, kind of like rub on Voltarol, which is like a kind of a, a cream, like deep heat that you can rub on if you have pain in your joints. So they're all the things that you can ask for across the counter. The pharmacists are really knowledgeable, so just come and tell them what's wrong with you. And if they can, they will sell you something from behind the counter. If not, they'll advise that you go and see your doctor. Um, they'll often ask, have you used this medication before? All the usual things. And in here they have this really exciting screen where you can, oh, somebody else there, where you can see the medication coming down. But the best thing is to, yeah, come in, talk to your pharmacist, find out what they can do for you, um, and uh, you can take things from across the counter. Just the last bit about the pharmacy as well, just a little bit of information for you. If you are taking prescriptions regularly, um, prescription medication, 
then there's a sliding scale of how much you pay for those prescriptions. So the more you pay, uh, or the more your prescriptions cost, the less you pay, it's on a percentage. And you can also join various um, different uh, sort of healthcare schemes where you can get some, uh, some discount on that. Um, I'm gonna go and grab a leaflet and show you that in a moment. Um, so that's, that's a really good thing about the pharmacy and, and your prescription charges. Another piece of advice I give everybody is if you're coming from another country and you regularly take either across the counter uh, medication or you take a prescription one, keep your original packaging that has the generic name of the medication on it and then the pharmacist can look it up and can tell you what is a similar or the same product here because it may have a different brand name. So that's a little introduction to the pharmacy. I'm gonna go and ask the ladies if I can grab one of the leaflets just about their, um, the, the Denmark scheme, and I'll talk a little bit about that and then say goodbye. Okay, I just spoke to the pharmacist. They didn't have any leaflets about the scheme, but I will put a link um, underneath the video about uh, the, the, the Denmark uh, like kind of insurance scheme that you can take out. She just explained to me that they have different groups. So depending on what your kind of prescription needs are going to be, uh, you choose which group and then you get a percentage back of what you've spent on your prescription. But like I say, check out down below here and I'll make sure that I put the link to it. So it will probably be in Danish. So use Google Translate to, to read into that. But it's definitely worth looking at if you have regular prescriptions um, and it's starting to you know, kind of be a little bit costly for you. Um, but that's just a, a, an introduction to the pharmacy today. I hope I kind of covered everything uh, that they sell in there, but as I say, it's worth noting there are certain things that you will think they sell in a pharmacy which they don't, such as nappies. Um, this pharmacy, I didn't notice whether they had sanitary towels and sanitary products, but they often have those as well. But uh, my advice is all the pharmacies are super friendly, super helpful, and most of them will speak English. So if you have any questions, just pop into your pharmacy, say hello and ask a question, and uh, you should be able to get the answers that you need. So anyway, that's all for now. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the video. And as usual, please do subscribe if you're enjoying what you're seeing here and leave me a comment if there's something else you'd like to cover. Um, I've been delighted I've been getting some comments and shopping seems to be something that people definitely want to hear more about. So that's why we have the, uh, the pharmacy video today. So take care and bye for now.